The original notes for this piece talked about the rising cost of fuel, but now we find that there's been a drop in the price of fuel. I filled the thirsty Range Rover with diesel last Wednesday. Stupid me. Um, $2.38, I think, a litre I was paying at the pump down at the old BP Roadmaster in Wellington. That's dropped significantly, but still we have the issue, and fuel prices, don't forget, affect everything, the price of everything in our economy. But we got everyone going away on holiday, and we got the subsidy that the government bought in due to come off on the 31st of January. So should it come off on the 31st of January or not? Well, one sector, sector of the economy that clearly um, this is important to is the transport sector. Those who haul um, the goods that we use up and down this country get stuff on supermarket shelves and in all sorts of ways are the veins, the arterial roots and the blood supply of our economy. Joining us now is the CEO of Transporting New Zealand, used to be called Transport New Zealand, Nick Leggett. Uh, and you've Hi, got Sean. To do I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to say anything more. You've, you've, you've <laughs> said it all for me. Well, look, look, well, <laughs> it has been sensitive. And, and I'll be honest, I haven't done, done a lot of big roadies, um, but I do notice that it costs a bit more to fill up the car, in fact, significantly more, um, and I'm a diesel user. Uh, and a lot of people have said to me, geez, fuel prices uh, hurt. There's a little group formed almost within the anti-vax movement about Marston Point being closed, and is this the reason our fuel prices are high? But looking back over the year, Nick, what has been the increase in fuel costs for your members, um, if we could put it in a, in a broad percentage term? How much more are they paying to put the stuff that makes yeah. their trucks go in their trucks? About 70%. Wow. So... Um, we did a, an estimation um, that in June 2021 uh, cost about seventy thousand dollars a year to run a uh, a reasonably large truck, not the biggest ones you see on the road, but the, they call a curtain cider uh, with a trailer. Um, and that, at the peak of things this year, was costing one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year to run, in ter- just in terms of diesel. Yeah. Um, now that's probably dropped back a bit at the moment, but I think the point that I'd like to make to you is yeah okay so 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 oil prices came down last week but does anybody think that we're not living in a uh, volatile fuel market still i mean it's one swallow as they say doesn't make a summer we could be up um we could be up again in the next few weeks or months um and on top of that we've got pretty significant inflation for the first time in 30 years so um, our position is that the government should extend the uh, transport support package, as they call it, which is mm. that 36% discount on road user charge of the 25 cents per litre on y- your normal fuel uh, that they've taken off since yeah. April, and then half subsidy, half price subsidy on public transport. Mm. Because people moving around and the ability for goods to obviously be moved around, um, you know, are big influences of inflation. Mm. We reckon that if they take the support package off, this is using Treasury's figures, if they t- if it comes off in January, um, it'll add, uh, it will have added about 0.5% to inflation. So yeah, it's getcha. pretty big. Mm. Mm. Well, look, the other point, though, is we've got the Reserve Bank saying stop spending money. Um, yeah. A recession is coming. We need to take some heat yeah. out of the economy. Surely, keeping fuel prices high is a way to do that, and removing government subsidies is a way to take some money out of the economy to close and slow or cool things down. Well, the the point is, we don't have a choice about whether we eat food, do we? If we want to survive. So food has to come to us. Most of it, well, all of it probably comes on the back of the truck. Um, the question is, do you think that every New Zealander, particularly those that are, have the lowest incomes, do you think that they should be purposefully, uh, should they purposefully have their, and knowingly have their few, uh, food bills increased? Mm. Um, but because uh, we want to we wanna slow the economy. I mean, the, the same about petrol tax, you know, the fuel excise. Um, 25 cents a litre, that's a political choice, Sean. That's a political choice that the government, you know, that this government has increased fuel excise taxes since they've been in, in power. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to argue the, the, the for and the against. There's some good reasons for it as well. But they can, they can choose here 
to give Kiwis uh, a bit of a helping hand at a time when things are bad. And as I said, you put all this back on, it's inflationary, and that just adds to the problem people have got. So, so I, you're I think, saying you know, they shouldn't take off... Transport is a necessity. Yeah, yeah. It's a necessity. Yeah. Um, and, of course, January 31st would be a good time to roll it back. Everyone's back from the holidays. They're not going to... Uh, kick up Bobsy die about fuel prices because they're not doing the road trip anymore. But you really are pushing on January thirty first to have those all those subsidies, the transport subsidies extended. Yeah, we are. I mean, you, it doesn't matter. I don't think if people are on holiday or not. Um, you know, if a, if a family with one income that needs to fill up the car once a week um, it goes down on the first of February, it's going to cost. You know, if they've got a people mover. It's going to probably cost them an extra fifteen bucks to fill up. Um, their groceries are going to be coming on the backs of trucks. In fact, all the goods in their household mm. are going to be coming on the backs of trucks that are, are going to cost significantly more. I mean, just to give you an idea, now, I, I don't... We're not, as an industry, like, road user charges pay for the roads. Yep. We're not trying to get out of that. Um, yep. We don't... We're not trying to make excuses, right? Yep. But it has given the road transport industry an, you know, a bit of a cost easing <laughs> at a time when... Uh, they most need it. It's really important that we do have viable road freight. But a, a, a big B train, you know, it's a mm. truck and a trailer unit, 50 tonne trailer, yeah. truck and trailer unit. The saving on that, because the road user charge discount, is twenty over $20,000 a year. Now, a lot of money, um, but that when you put that back on, somebody has to pay for that, and it will be the people that consume the goods that the trucks carry, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And and we're just saying, if the government's serious about, you know, easing off at a time when people are doing it hard, if they're serious about not adding to inflation, then a really good way to, to you know, to, to, to show that care is to keep this rolling on. Now, we, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't go forever. Absolutely not. Mm. But um, we just think that Mum and Dad catching the bus or the train, they're going to ha- they're going to be whacked again um, come the first of February if if this goes back on. It's it's just a way for the government to show. Actually, we get we know people are doing it tough. We know that families and businesses are doing it tough, um, and for a few more months we're going to keep it going. I mean, the other thing, Sean, is I don't need to tell you this. Um, it's also election year. And um, I just don't know if you want to be putting people's costs up, uh, you know, in that frame. Oh, well, they're going into recession and election year, but they've got no one to blame but themselves for spending too much bloody money. Um, All right. Look, the other thing I want to ask, and I just want to deal with it because you're here and I know you'll have more knowledge of it than I possibly could have. I'm getting a lot of people saying, oh, the problem with our fuel is Marsden Point. Has the closure of Marsden Point in any way affected the supply of fuel to to your members in New Zealand or volatility of fuel prices? No, not in our view. No, uh, I mean, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't have kept it open, perhaps. Look, we were pretty, we were pretty ambivalent on it. Um, there are, you know, we've got people in our in organisation that are, you know, significantly more expert on this than I am. Um, but, it, you know, you saw the other day, I think, I think the best example we've seen of why Marsden Point should have been kept open was um, to re- re-refine that, um, that uh, um, the, the, the fuel, the, 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 the dicky fuel that came over for the uh, aviation, you yeah. know, that they could yeah. have popped it through. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there probably is a security argument there. I don't think it's, I don't think we should just dismiss Marsden Point closing as not relevant. Um, but I, And I do think it was symbolic for the government. You know, they put symbolism over practice. Keeping it open would have been safer, um, but we do have ships, obviously. And, you know, the other thing is it could have been turned into a refinery for biodiesel, which, you know, once again would have improved our emission, you know, uh, reduction process. So I, I think it was probably narrow. The consideration of Mars support closing was narrow, but I don't... I don't think it's the reason for our problems now. You know, we're in a we're in a global market for fuel, and it's and always very were. volatile. It always were. We're, look, we're a tiny speck at the bottom of the earth, and anybody who pretends otherwise uh, needs to go on a trip and, and just check out where we fit. But uh, it's it's yeah. I mean, I think I think it would have made us feel safer for certain things, but I, I don't think it's particularly material. All right, Nick. Um, do you expect a response, well, when do you think the government will announce whether or not it's going to 
continue with or roll back the transport subsidies, the RUC discount, the 25 cents per litre. When do you think they might do that? Grant Robertson said that they'd do it before Christmas. I'm hoping they'll do it post-Cabinet today, actually. All um, right, so they give yeah, a little you know, Christmas yeah. present and hope that everyone feels a little bit better of, about them going into the into the Yuletide season. Yeah. 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 All right, we will watch for that. I might not even pop, pop down to post-Cabinet on the, on the strength of that. Uh, Nick, thank you for joining us. Thank you for all your appearances on the platform uh, this year. Uh, you've been an informative, Sean. an informative voice uh, in the industry that uh, you represent. We'll talk again next year and happy holidays. Thanks. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. See okay, you. that is uh, Nick Leggett from uh, Transporting New Zealand. They did a rebrand from Transport New Zealand. I don't know that it makes much friggin' difference.